In this video, I'm going to explain the parts of the upper respiratory tract. Humans have pulmonary respiration. The respiratory system in humans includes a long respiratory tract and the respiratory organs that is the lungs. The respiratory tract consists of the conducting system that includes the upper respiratory tract which involve, includes the nasal chambers that then extends through the pharynx region to form the trachea and the esophagus. So the trachea and the esophagus has the common opening that is the pharynx. So the trachea has epiglottis to cover while the food passes through the esophagus. Now let us label the parts. So the air enters into the respiratory tract through openings or in the nose that is called as the nostrils or the external nares. These are located just above the upper lip and they open directly into the nasal chamber or the nasal cavity. The nasal cavity has got cartilaginous septum that divides it into three chambers. The lower chamber is the vestibular chamber that consists of hairs in the epithelium that help to filter and trap the dust particles coming in the air. This also contains some oil glands and sweat glands. The middle chamber is the respiratory epithelium which consists of the pseudostratified epithelium and also has glands that secrete mucus. This is highly vascular and they help to increase the surface area of the nasal chambers and also act as air conditioner and filtering units. The upper chamber is the olfactory region. This region is lined with olfactory epithelium that contains sensory cells for detecting odor in the inspired air. This specialized sensory epithelium is called as the Schneiderian membrane. They also have mucus lining and secrete mucus into the nasal cavity. So the nasal cavity is this entire structure consisting of the vestibule, nasal cavity and the olfactory chambers. So that entire part then opens into the pharynx through an opening that is the internal nares. The nasal passage serves for passage of air that goes in and out of the lungs. It helps in filtration. It helps in cleaning, warming and moistening the air. Other than that, it also helps in detecting different smell in the inspired air. The pharynx region that is near the nasal chamber is called as the nasopharynx. Then, the pharynx part which is near the buccal cavity is called as the oropharynx and the part of the pharynx near the larynx is called as the laryngopharynx. So all these three regions together commonly forms the pharynx. This pharynx has two openings which is the tracheal and the esophageal opening. The tracheal opening is guarded by a cartilaginous flap-like structure that is called as the epiglottis. The epiglottis guards the opening of the trachea which is called as the glottis. The trachea extends down to branch inside the lungs. Trachea is made up of C-shaped cartilaginous rings that is formed by the hyaline cartilage which helps to prevent the collapsing of the trachea when there is no air present in there. At the opening of the trachea is present the larynx or the voice box. This helps in producing the sound. Here there are present the vocal cords or the muscles which help in producing the sound. 